I come as acting chairman of the Congress, Marquis David Nassau of Athlon. I am honored to be here in your excellency's presence. Today is truly a memorable day for the people of Athlon, as there is no greater glory than receiving the opportunity for an audience with your excellency. Enough. Your excellency? Enough empty formalities, Marquis. They are ever so impersonal. Peasant or vassal, we treat all as equals. Such deference is unnecessary. Would you not agree? Whatever pleases His Excellency. What a weirdo. Shh. Marquis of Athlum, we have heard of your many achievements. To accomplish so much at such a young age is quite impressive. Surely your father looks down on you with pride. Oh, uh, you are too kind. Your Excellency, I come bearing a question. Concerns about the Conqueror. Tis a tricky topic, though we would like nothing more than to satisfy your desire for enlightenment. The Conqueror's actions are destroying the world's balance. Without question, he must be stopped. Please, you must tell us what you know. Ha ha ha! Destroying the balance of the world, you say? A frightening man indeed. Your Excellency, were you not the one who bestowed power upon this man? What were your intentions? <laughs> but a mere child you are, Marquis. You see not but what's before your face. You are Arena Sykes. I yes Then you are she who bears the blood of Marshall? Hmm. The Lady Marion's beauty lies within. Marquis, in deference to the blood of our ancient consort, the Conqueror's secrets we will reveal. However, Make certain you have the courage to proceed. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the next part of the last swimming. As you can see, we can finally continue our main story because all the cycles up until, on, up until this point are done. And especially the tower one. That one was a long one. Anyway, let's continue a long, long wait. Just to note, if you didn't do it yet, before going in here, you have to do the gates of the city and sort of the dead first, or it will disappear. It's all I'm saying, if you didn't do it yet. I already did, because I have God already with me. Right. <laughs> Use the teleportation, yep. Now. We're gonna see an old familiar place. See? We're beneath Underworld in an old familiar place. Yeah, it's the same. It's, uh, it's the same as the Sacred Lands. Anyway. Now, there's, I don't think there's much to do in this episode, we're just going to go to the sacred lands and then there's a side quest we will unlock. There's also something else we will unlock, but as for later. There's also some... Uh, How's it called? DLC bosses we will unlock after this. Or oh, did we already unlock them? I think we already unlocked them. 
there's not much to see there's no enemies here just go there find your way and done the seal lo you unlock are the seven uh, uh the seven uh the seven yeah that's the one the seven i was searching for the name but the, the seven the the enlightened seven it's now you unlock those you will fight them and after you fight them you can you can recruit them if you well if you did their quests of course hey that's a big one here whoa it's closer on me you just follow the way it will close on you if you don't have if you don't need to go there like this oh i'm stuck you see you can't go anywhere where you don't you're not, you're not supposed to go And I'm stuck again. What the hell? Where do I go then? Ah, this way. So, then you have to fight all the Enlightened Seven and then you can unlock them. That's good, of course. I won't, I won't be taking with me because before you can actually recruit them, well, you have to go to all the seven paths, six paths, to the sacred lands. Then you can start to recruit them. It's too long f for me to take them with me, so and that's why I didn't took them in my team because that that, w that means all the cycles we didn't do yet. Then I keep it to this team. I could use them to to see how to do about the uh, weapons and stuff so you don't have a, there's no map here so but uh, actually my team is stronger now just because i did all the side quests so that's one thing you have to do make sure you do all the side quests but there's a movie coming now so i will shut up and let you enjoy the movie Someone's here. Wagram! Lord Wagram. It has been far too long. Wagram. What exactly are you scheming? Your eyes hold such suspicion. I am merely doing what the remnants desire of us. What are you talking about? Before man so much as crawled upon the earth, remnants existed, maintaining balance and harmony. Remnants were treated as divine creations by man, both feared and worshipped. However, all changed with the birth of one who could control them all. As time passed, men grew more and more audacious, treating remnants as nothing more than beneficial tools. <sighs> so foolish are men. Once again, men must fear remnants' power. They must worship their strength. That is the only role of such unworthy creatures. Now, with the coming of a remnant that can express his desires, we must listen, obey, and accept all he has to say. Whatever the cost. You say there is a remnant that can express his intentions? His desires? You mean the Conqueror, right? Preposterous. Th that's Ooh, impossible. Indeed, this was his home before he awakened. Heed my words, you will leave the Conqueror be. That is, if you value your lives. Wait! What if the Conqueror is planning something horrible, like taking over the entire world? 
You're saying you want us to just sit back and watch it happen? Weren't you listening, my boy? I said whatever the cost. Your Excellency, you can't feel the same way. The line of God Emperors is due to the remnants. Who are we to stand in the way of the Conqueror's wishes? Hear this, Marquis of Athlum. Hereafter, no one shall hinder the Conqueror. Any who go against his goals shall be branded a traitor. Go, and inform the Congress at once. You will abide by our command, Marquis. He's on the move! Headed where? To Illusion, sir! What does he want now? He may very well be trying to seize the sacred lands. However, I am at a loss as to what purpose that would fulfill. What of the other lords? Sir! The other lords have shown no sign of movement! Although they object to the current situation, None wish to be branded a traitor. You're right. No one dares oppose the God Emperor. Damn it! Man, you guys are useless. Dave, I can go straighten things out with the Conqueror if you want. I'm not originally from Athlum, so you shouldn't take any heat from what I do, right? Please, tell me you're joking. I'm totally serious. I mean, I know it won't be easy. But I have my talisman, so if I play my cards right... This is lunacy! You must be joking. Dave, I can't tell you how much I appreciate what you've done for me. If it weren't for you, Arena would probably still be kidnapped. And Mom and Dad would probably be in big trouble too. Well... It's time I paid you back for everything you've done for me. Sis, this time I can't take you with me. Be good, okay? I'll be back. You know I will. I'm an idiot. What am I doing sitting here? Rush, you're right. If we leave the Conqueror to do as he pleases, it may not matter whether the God Emperor considers us traitors. We may be faced with a fate much worse. Wagra may have been able to accept this, but that does not mean we have to sit back and do the same. Dave... The consequences can be dealt with later. We must do whatever is necessary to protect our world from the forces which oppose us. I command you as Lord David Nassau, Marquis of Athlum. All troops are to head to Illusion immediately. We will fight the Conqueror. If you do not wish to participate, flee Athlum now. Stay only if this holds purpose to you. You really are a fool if you think anyone here will abandon you at this crucial time. Yeah, we fear nothing and nobody. If His Excellency is to find out, we can think of a cover story if need be. Lord David, let's go! Thank you, everyone. For the honor of Athlon! Yes, yes, my lord! lord! I'm invited too, right? <sighs> yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm too late. Uh, anyway, that will make it this an episode. Yeah, I told you there was not a lot of fighting. The next thing we have to go is go to the Holy Plains. It's a big battle, so I think it will be an episode too. And after this, we unlock the side quest for uh, from uh, David. But you to uh, to play with it, you don't have to talk with him here. You, you have to go to the 
Yeah, like always, look to the pub, there's a soldier there. So, I'll leave you at this. I hope, well, you didn't see much, so anyway. I'll see you on the next one. So, bye, have a nice day.